Would you like to know how to register with Elster Online and which options are actually the right ones for you? If so, be sure to watch this video till the end because we go through this process step by step together. Hi, my name is Melchior from Contest Tax Consulting and in my opinion, every self-employed person should have access to Elster Online. What exactly it takes to register, that's what we'll look at today. To register with Elster Online, the first step is to go to elster.de. Of course, you can simply type that in your browser, but you can also find the link below in the video description. And of course, we end up on the landing page. That's the first step. The second step would then be that we click on Create User Account in the top right corner, and this brings us to the registration process. There's also a brief introduction on how it all works. To be honest, it's a bit slim, which is exactly why I'm making this video, so that you know exactly how this works. How do you actually log into Elster Online and how do you authenticate yourself in the future? There are different options. It is important here that security is a top priority at Elster Online and there's a good reason for that. This is the portal that you can use to submit things to the tax office. And if someone were to log into your account and submit some kind of tax return or, for example, just pretends that you made a million euros last year and the tax office were at your door and wanted to have 400,000 euros in taxes, you'd be in deep shit. And there's actually more damage one could do. And so to make sure that this doesn't happen and you will always have to additionally authenticate yourself. My recommendation and also the recommendation of the tax office is the so-called certificate file. This is a small file that you can download after registering. You can save it on your hard drive, a USB stick or whatever. Save it and really make sure only you have it. And you can then only register with Elster Online in the future if you have the certificate file and your password. Of course, this makes it much more secure than just an email address and a password. Here's a rough explanation of how it works, but let's look at the other options as well. Here you can see, for example, that the certificate file is the recommended medium. No additional hardware or software is required, it's free and it works reasonably well. I can tell you that from my own experience because I also use the certificate file. You can also do the whole thing with your ID card, for example. If your ID card has the online function, you can also authenticate yourself with your ID card and then log into Elster Online. But for this, you need the function in the ID card and you also need some sort of device that can read this card. This can be, for example, the Ausweis app 2, which works via a smartphone or a card reader. So in any case, additional software or hardware is necessary, which may cost money. This function works, is convenient once it has been set up, but it is a bit more complex and therefore not my recommendation. And then there are two more options that are more complex and you'll definitely need additional hardware. But it is particularly good when several people access it. For example, if you have a company and there are several people in the accounting department, it makes sense that there is another solution than your personal ID card, such as the security stick. So you can buy a security stick. There's also a link to the online shop here. You pay and then you need software also, the Elsa Authenticator. And with this, you can also log into Elsa Online. As I said, this is more complex and is usually not necessary for a solo self-employed person. It's really not that expensive to buy, to be honest, at 49 euros, but it is simply more complex. And then, and we actually use that in tax consulting, there is a signature card. You can order that signature card and then you might have, for example, a tax accountant query. You can then see how many prepayments you've made for the Umsatzsteuer tax and stuff like that. To be honest, that's more of a solution for a tax consultant as it says here. The signature card is particularly interesting if you're a tax consultant, for example. That's why I mentioned we as Contest Tax Consulting definitely have a signature card. I personally use a certificate file. And if this is also of interest to you, then you click on select here. Now that we have done that, there are two options. You can either register for yourself, i.e. you and your partner, because you kind of belong together, or you do it for an organization. If you're doing this for a GmbH, an association, or you're an employee, etc., then you click here, that you want to register this for an organization. This is important because when you have a corporation, you sort of have your own legal persona. So you're not really you in that sense. You're not you. This means that you then register someone else. You register the GmbH. But if you're self-employed, you click on For Me. The same, by the way, applies if you should have a photovoltaic system because of course you have to treat them correctly for tax purposes. And then you click on next. 
On the next screen, you can think about how exactly you want to identify yourself. Admittedly, the easiest way is to identify yourself with your personal tax identification number. The tax identification number is the number, so the unique tax number that you got at some point in the far distant past. These days, it's actually sent out directly at birth. I became a father last year and it took less than six weeks for my daughter to receive a tax identification number from the Federal Central Tax Office. Every one of you should have it. If you immigrated to Germany, you should also have received your tax identification number after being registered in Germany. If you're unsure what the tax number, tax identification number and Umsatzsteuer identification number are, I've already recorded a video where I explain exactly what the differences are and where to find them etc. I'll link the video for you at the top right corner. In any case, use the tax identification number here. If you want to register your spouse, of course you also need your spouse's tax identification number. The only exception is is if you're just starting a business and you're in a hurry to somehow get your tax number to write the first invoice, you can also identify yourself with the email address. However, you won't have all the options that you would have if you were to register correctly with the tax identification number. That's why I would always recommend you use the tax ID number. In the next step, you can exactly see what the process is going to be like. And I would say you see the progress bar on the left there. First, you enter your data, i.e. your email address, date of birth, tax identification number, your username you want to log in with the security question, your answer, etc. And you'll have to confirm that the mail may be sent to you. We'll get to that in a minute. And then in the next step, there's the possibility to apply for the pre-filling of the income tax return. This is interesting because the tax office already has an incredible amount of information about you. So if you're employed and have health insurance, this information is already with the tax office. And it can save you a lot of time by not having to collect the receipts, but which can simply be called up via Elster Online. The information, for example, that the health insurance company has already sent to the tax office about you can simply be called up and then you no longer have to collect the receipts for the health insurance company, but instead get the data directly from the tax office, at least in the areas that the tax office knows. And I would definitely recommend this since this saves a lot of work and a lot of back and forth between the tax office and you. Then you send the whole registration off. You have to confirm your email address again and then you have to wait. What you get fairly quickly is the activation ID, which you get by email, meaning to the email address that you have registered here. But what takes a few days is the activation code in the mail. You actually get a letter to your home with a code, and that is also relatively important. And one important side note, please use the address that you are registered at at the residence registration office. I recently had a case with someone who had just moved, started his own business, and had entered his new address here, and then simply nothing came. Because the tax office will check whether you actually live at the address and only send it out if you do. And only then is it possible to register. And these security measures, as you would call them, are in your best interest. Otherwise, I could also register for you and simply have the activation code sent to my home. This doesn't work and it's a good thing that it doesn't work. Then, when the code comes, you have the ID, you enter it. Everything you need will be in the email. You enter the activation data and then this certificate file is generated. The certificate file would then be created especially for you. It only applies to you and your login. You can then download it and you should save it as securely as possible wherever it's as safe as possible. This is the only way you can log in in the future. And in the next step, you can actually log in and use all functions in the future. If you don't know exactly what functions Elster Online has, I've also made a video overview on that, which I will also link in the top right corner. And you will also find a whole series of videos about Elster Online in the video description, so what you can actually do with it and how exactly it works. I hope that this video has helped you to successfully register with Elster Online. If you're starting your own business and you think, I would actually like to have a tax advisor who takes care of everything and that I can always ask because I really don't want to have anything to do with Elster Online, then I have to tell you that I have a great tip for you. Us, we are specialized online tax consultant for the self-employed and freelancers. I'll just link all the information about our services here. So please have a look. Be sure to check out our online community and you're also welcome to ask all your questions about Elster Online. You can find out how to register in this video or watch our other videos about Elster Online, such as this one.